Hello, I'm Beth Ambovino, the Deputy Chief Economist at Standard & Poor's. Well, I have some more upbeat news to report this week. The news comes largely from the housing sector. Data showed that existing home sales did fall last month, but they met expectations. A clear home run for housing came from the new home sales market, where sales topped expe expectations. The headline data for the S&P Case-Shiller 20-City Home Price Index also came in better than expected, increasing hopes that the recovery in the U.S. housing market will not stall. And while the headline news this week on September durable orders wasn't so pleasant, key indicators of, the busi of business spending in the orders report showed growth last month. It indicates that business spending and manufacturing will likely contribute more to, to, to the third quarter GDP, which indeed it did. But let's talk about the brighter news first. New home sales surged almost 6% to 313,000 units in September, suppressing expectations and erasing their dip in August. Despite this surge, total new home sales still remain down since last year, although homes became cheaper last month. A bright spot in the data showed that the amount of time homes spent unsold on the market fell and remained near the historic average. The data certainly provided a much needed boost for the new home sales sector, which has been particularly hard hit since the housing bubble popped. More upbeat news followed from the S&P Case-Shiller 20 City Home Price Index this week, which fell less than expected in August. Although Detroit and Washington, D.C. were the only two cities to see positive returns, 16 of the 20 cities saw year-over-year -year improvements. On a non-seasonally adjusted basis, the index was up over the month, but when taking account seasonal factors, prices were still flat. Despite a relieving headline, the home price index data does show that the housing sector remains very weak, and whether it can improve further at the end of the summer buying season has yet to be seen. In a mixed headline, data showed that existing home sales for September fell to about 4.9 million units, but met consensus expectations. While single-family home sales declined, condo and co-op sales rose. Even though existing homes be became cheaper last month, the amount of time homes spent unsold on the market edged up to 8.5 months. It is well above the historic average time, indicating that the sector remains burdened in a sluggish recovery under a vast load of housing inventory. While September durable orders fell 0.8% over August, total durable orders are still up almost 9.5% year-to-date. The fall last month is largely a result of a steep drop in transportation orders, particularly aircraft. However, a big bright spot in the report shows that capital goods orders, excluding defense and aircraft, rose again last month. Indeed, third quarter GDP supported the prior reports, with GDP rising at a 2.5% pace almost twice the prior quarter's reading, with fixed investment surging almost 14%. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Beth Ambovino, the Deputy Chief Economist at Standard & Poor's.